Let's talk about custom subnets using a Class C addressing scheme. Okay, the first thing you want to determine is what class do we have here? And of course, we have a Class C because it's 192. The very next thing you want to check is you want to make sure that you have at least uh, the default slash number. And on a Class C, if you remember, it's 24. So this is the valid address. What you do then is you go 255, 255, 255, 24 plus 1 gets 27. That would be 3. And if you add these together, you should get 27. So then we take our magic number line. And we have three here, so just come down here and go one, two, three, put zeros on the last five. Add these three together and you get 224. And that's going to be your subnet mask number there. Take the five zeros that you have here and just inverse them over so you have five ones up here and zero. So just remember, you have five zeros here, so when you put them on the top, just make them five ones and zero. Just do the opposite of what you see here. Now what we have here is what this top actually represents. This is going to be your number of networks that you have. This number here is going to indicate your count number. And I'll go over that in a second here. And these five numbers here indicate your power number. So two to the power of 5 is going to be your total amount of host. 2 to the power of 5 subtract 2 is going to be your usable host. And I'll cover that here. So remember, the top part is going to be how many networks you're going to have. Total is 8. This is going to be your count number, how big each segment is going to be. These five zeros are going to represent your power number. And the majority of your questions are going to come in this format. So if I ask you what, how many total hosts do we have, 2 to the power of 5. How many, how many usable hosts do we have? 2 to the power of 5 subtract 2. So just remember, this is going to be used more than anything else you see on here. Up here, also as well, if it asks how many total networks you have, 8. How many usable networks, 8 subtract 2. Just remember, when it comes to Cisco, you always subtract 2 from the networks and subtract 2 from the host number to get your usables on both the network and host. All right. So after that, we... We have our count number here. What that represents is you're going to start with dot zero. And because we're counting by 32, so basically that's your count number. And if you subtract one from each one, that's how you get it. So here we have 32 total host. We can't use the first one because this is our network address. This is our broadcast address, and anything in the middle here would be usable, which you can use. So remember, your count is going to be, if you're counting by 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. If you were to go all the way to 255, you would have eight total networks. So that's just a shortcut on getting how many networks you have on here. Now, what we need to find out is, is what kind of address is this, and where is it located at? So remember, anytime you have a 255, these always have to stay the same. So those don't change. What's going to change is going to be your last octet here. If you look on the, the line here, dot 40 is located in between 32 and 63. So 192, 168, 140 is a usable address. It is on the 192, 168.1.32 network and the broadcast for this is going to be dot 63. Uh, and if you have, say this is going to be 32, it would be an actual network address. You can't use that. If it was a 31, it's a broadcast address. You can't use that. So that's the reason why I split this like this so you know anything here you can use. And also, too, if all of your computers are, are, are on the DOT64 network, and if this one's up here in the DOT32, that's your problem. It's in the wrong segment. So you would have to move it to where everything is located at. 
So just be careful when people add IP addresses, so check to make sure they're in the right segment and that they're usable. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Just make sure that you check the class, make sure you check the default subnet max, write it out, put your three to get your number, take your zeros, flip them over to do your networks, your count, your power numbers would be the zeros, and then your counts here and do them that way.